Hi, it's the People Mentor. So today I want to talk to you about doing a business swap, which I think is a really useful tool, whatever size of a business you are, whether you're small to large. And I think it's really great that when you are a small employer, that you use this tool with your employees to work out what is working really well in your business and what else you need to think about. And your employees have the biggest insight because they are the ones at the front line. So it's really essential to include them. They will give you a different perspective and really help you. So let's begin. The first step in any business is to be clear about the reason for what you're doing and why. A SWOT review can be wide or narrow, general or specific. So anything from getting employees to think about and understand the business better, to rethinking the strategy or the overall direction of the business. You will find that SWOT reviews usually focus on the current situation. However, you can use them to look into the future, and I have done with a charity. Now, who needs to be involved? Well, you need to pick the right people to be involved, especially if conducting a business-wide review. It's really important to include people from different parts of your business to make sure information is gathered from across the whole business. And then pick a mix of specialists and ideas people with the ability and enthusiasm to contribute. And then think about the numbers. Six to 10 people is usually more than enough. Then gaining evidence is vital if the subsequent review is to be accurate. And this should be shared out among the SWAT participants. The so preparation can be carried out in two stages, exploratory followed by data collection. Often in the SWOT discussions, you will find out that you need more information and you will need to go away to do the detail followed by a focused review. So you can often think that you're gonna to have to have two meetings. Gathering information on strengths and weaknesses should focus on the internal factor of skills, resources and assets, or lack of them. Gathering information on opportunities and threats should focus on the external factors over which you have little or no control, such as social, market or economic trends. So what you will need to do is take into account the interdependency of the relationships between internal factors, so the strengths and weaknesses, and the external factors, opportunities and threats. So, for example, the behaviour of suppliers is not entirely within a business's control, but neither is it completely outside its influence. So from my personal experience, it's really a good idea to avoid rules generally on how you use a SWOT review as you want people to open up and think outside the box. So how do you carry out a SWOT? Or well, one approach is to hold a workshop and divide the participants into teams to cover each of the strengths, weaknesses, threats and opportunities. Provide enough materials to capture the discussions and the specific items under each SWOT component. This can be carried out using post-it notes, flip charts and other workshop resources. If you're working virtually, we'll use whiteboards in Teams or Zoom or a Jamboard from Google or alternatively a Word document and screen share. Allow the teams to work in concentrated sessions on each part. Half an hour is usually enough to spend on strengths before moving on. And it's really important that you are specific, that you evaluate and you're analytical at the stage of compiling and recording the SWOT list. Mere description is not enough. 
And bear in mind that when you come back to read this later, you need to be able to understand it. So you need to be very clear about what you're writing. Finally, it's really great to ask each team to prioritise and present their element of the SWOT to others in the room. And then that enables discussion around what they've put and will often give you additions to add to their list. So what are some of the questions that you could ask to carry out your SWOT? Let's look at strengths. So what does this business do better than any other? Another question could be, what advantages does the business have? Also, what unique resource does the business have? What do others see as the strong points of the business? And what does feedback highlight as strong points? And there are more that you can add to this as you go along that will get you thinking. Weaknesses. So what needs improving in the business? Is the business receiving complaints? And if so, what on? And that also can go to strengths because what complements is the business receiving and how does that demonstrate strengths? Carrying on with weaknesses, what is negatively affecting the business about our services or products? And lastly, what skills are missing from the business that are needed? Let's look at opportunities. What technological developments could the business tap into? What niche is out there that we could give a helping hand to? What new markets are opening up? Are there any political or environmental trends that the business could actually tap into? And what trends, general trends, could you tap into? And what changes are you seeing out there in the world in social patterns, population profiles, lifestyle changes and so on that you could tap into? So again, a bit like with moving towards hybrid working now um, and we are in a whole new ball game these days. And then what is happening locally and what events are there that you could tap into? And lastly, threats. What new technologies could disrupt your business? What are other competitors doing better than your business? What political, legislative or environmental changes are out there that could actually negatively affect this business, even stop it in its tracks? What quality standards are adversely affecting the business? And are there financial worries to consider? And even one could be, are you unable to get staff as a result of uh, the changes that are happening? So I hope you found that useful. So that's it on how to do a business spot. Um, it is a tool that I absolutely love. And the other one that I would always refer you to is Pestle. Um, which I will do you a video about shortly. So I hope you found this useful. Got any questions or any thoughts, add it into the comments and I will come back to you. That's it for today. Thank you. People Mentor signing off. Take care.